I would like you to close your eyes for just a minute. Sit back in your chair, take a deep breath in, and breathe out. And I would like you to remember yourself as a child. What did you really love to do? What made you happy? And what did you want to become? Was there a special person in your life who inspired you to dream? Take another deep breath in, breathe out, and you may open your eyes. This is me, an eight-year-old girl standing on a stage in Olde Holtbade, Friesland, and I'm playing Whitney Houston. I adored Whitney Houston, and especially this song called The Greatest Love of All. There was something about the words, although I didn't understand all the lyrics, that touched me deep in my soul. I believe the children are the future. Teach them well and let them lead the way. Show them all the beauty they possess inside and give them a sense of pride. Let the children's laughter remind us how we used to be. Now, being on that stage, all eyes on me, Grown-ups paying attention to a child, it felt right. As a little girl, I loved to act, create new worlds and share them with an audience. And not only on stage, also on paper. I used to love to write stories. So I've spent many nights tucked away in a little corner of our house, creating worlds much bigger than the little village I grew up in. Now, when I was about 10 years old, I entered a story competition, and the question was to write about something that really amazed you. I wrote a story about a girl my age dying of hunger in Africa. As a child growing up, I was often confronted with these images on television, and I just couldn't understand how people could allow children to die of hunger. There's enough food to eat. And um, my image of Africa was, was colored by images of disasters, famines and wars, and my fascination, my curiosity for this continent was planted, because I thought, this can't be the only thing happening there. Okay, life went on, and I followed my dream to become a theater director. I ended up going to theater school in Amsterdam. And during my years in school, I realized that my drive to make theater mainly comes from the people whom I work with. Who are they? What are their stories? And sharing this creative experience with them, the joy and bringing magic into their lives. And of course, very important, the experience of being on that stage. You're there, right here, right now. There's no past, there's no future, there's just right now. And you feel so alive, that feels great. I wanted to share this experience, this joy, with children who otherwise would never have the opportunity to maybe experience it. So in my last year of school, I decided I was going to go to Africa to meet that continent and to share theater with children there. This is me, a 27-year-old woman on a stage in Namibia. I'm no longer playing the lyrics of Whitney Houston, but I'm living them. On the 25th of November, I took off to Namibia, and I had given myself one year to discover if and how I could make theater with children in African townships. I staged the play with 40 school kids, and the energy, the joy, the, the spirit of togetherness was overwhelming, and it was very addictive. And this journey also allowed me to meet with the most wonderful, beautiful, extraordinary people I had ever met in my whole life. They were very creative, very funny, they had a great sense of humor, and they were just, they just stole my heart the first minute I met them. These people were children, children surviving in the street, street children. Looking into their eyes, I realized that these kids we're missing some of these very essential things that we all need as a child growing up. Instead of receiving positive attention, 
their days were filled with rejection. Instead of grown-ups listening to you, to your stories, they were being ignored. Instead of being able to play the whole day without a worry, they had to work in order to survive. And then I, I thought, okay, as an individual, I can't change this whole thing, this whole unjust situation on my own. But as a theater director, there is something that I can do. I can give these kids the feeling of being worthwhile. I can give them a voice. I can help them raise their voice in their communities, to an audience, their government, and hopefully the world. From now on, we count. And this was the birth of my theater organization that I founded together with one of my best friends. And the name was given to me by one of the schoolgirls that I worked with that first journey. She told me, as a word of farewell, you have the true spirit of Ubuntu. Ubuntu. It means, I am because you are. As a human being, we can't make it on our own. We need each other. The minute I heard that word, Ubuntu, this magical word, I thought, wow, this is the perfect name for my mission. Growing up, Whitney told me, everybody's searching for a hero. People need someone to look up to. To me, street children are heroes, and they keep on inspiring me again and again. I pay them huge respect. They managed to survive in situations we couldn't cope with probably for even a day. They have such a huge potential in life to make it. They only need someone to reach out to them. My mission with Ubuntu is to let these three children regain their dignity and their self-esteem. Being on a stage, all eyes on you, you feel you have the right to be there. And not only do the children realize this, also, the audience that is watching them, they get to see a totally new side of these children. Instead of looking at them as useless, they start to see them as heroes. And the kids, while they're being part of this theater process of making this performance, they get to experience that feeling of Ubuntu, the togetherness, they are no longer alone. And being part of a group, they have the opportunity to open up their hearts and their eyes for new possibilities, a new life, a new future. They dare to dream again. Now, my very first theater performance with street children started with a very simple question, the same one I just asked you in the beginning. What do you want to be? And this little boy here, called Simpson, he told me, in a very soft voice, a person. Now, five years later, I'm starting to receive messages from former street kids from all over the world. And just a couple of weeks ago, I got a message from this kid from uh, Kisumu through Facebook. And he told me, the project in 2006 made me realize I have a musical talent. And right now, I am one of the most popular artists in the Lakeside region. And my song is being played on the radio every day. Ubuntu is currently reaching about 300 street children per year in Indonesia, Ghana, Honduras, and South Africa. This is me, a 33-year-old woman standing on a stage in Amsterdam, right here, right now. And again, I'm sharing my story, and it feels great. Thank you.